Dabra Vecce, good evening. Welcome back to our mini-series on this year's annual exercise, U4's Quick Response 2024. When I last spoke, we were transitioning into our next phase, a more intense and high active period of the exercise. With our troops in their designated temporary staging areas, the exercise saw an increase in foot patrols across a number of urban regions throughout Bosnia and Herzegovina. The patrols ensured U4 expanded its awareness of the region and allowed us to further integrate with the local population. The patrols that took place uh, both during the day and at night demonstrated U4's ability to operate in differing environments. U4 troops found themselves tested in a number of crowd riot control scenarios in various locations in order to secure weapons and ammunition storage sites. This action was conducted in cooperation with the armed forces of BIH. More complex scenarios included the ability of U4 to conduct evacuations of injured personnel. The testing of such a capability is vital to U4's ongoing real life operations and mirrored a recent action carried out in the first half of this year. This action, which took place in April, involved the use of U4 air and medical assets to rescue two civilians missing in a mountainous area. Throughout the exercise, U4 trained with different diplomatic bodies in BIH. This provided us valuable lessons in our partners' processes and regulations. The importance of securing strategic locations is paramount to U4's ability to assist our partners in the provision of a safe and secure environment in BIH. The exercise witnessed the securing of Sarajevo International Airport at night, a vital operational and logistical location Securing of such a site was further evidence of U4's strategic understanding of its area of operations. The final event that marked the closing of U4's exercise, Quick Response 24, was conducted on the 13th of September 2024. In summary, during Quick Response 24, U4 activated a large reserve force in a relatively short period, integrated the new force into framework operations, then tested this combined force in high tempo scenarios that presented commanders with realistic situational dilemmas. For the first time, U4 secured the activation of the U4 tactical reserve making Quick Response 24 a special endeavor. Our focus was on support to the authorities as a second responder and also on helping the international community in case of crisis situation. In case of difficulties, EU4 will be here to help maintain a safe and secure environment in line with our mandate. I would like to wish you those making onward journeys a safe trip. As always, I will finish with the EU4 2024 motto. Forward, onward. Yeah.